Hey, it's Andy Drifter here. Hope your week has gotten off to a great start. Got myself a blaster box of 2023 Stadium Club Baseball 40 cards in total. And here we go. Let's see what the uh, mega card is. It is J-Rod. Very nice. All right, let's begin. Godzilla Hideki Matsui, two-time All-Star, runner-up to Rookie of the Year award, and a World Series MVP, best known for his time with the Yankees, but also spent time with the Rays, Angels, and the A's. I know the A's and or I, mean, I know the Rays and Angels. I don't know about the A's. Uh, Michael Harris II, former NL Rookie of the Year. We got C.J. Abrams having a very nice year with the Nats. Nolan Arenado, 10-time Gold Glove winner. That is a red parallel. Somebody who I PC, one of my favorite current players. I wish this guy would get more recognition, but unfortunately, what happens when you play on small market teams like Colorado and St. Louis, you kind of fly under the radar. George Kirby. Matt Chapman, no longer with Toronto. Uh, Ryan Sandberg, MVP winner, Gold Glove winner, perennial all-star, Hall of Famer. Uh, Tyler Freeman, we've got Oswaldo Cabrera, another nice red parallel. Garrett Mitchell. The Great Bambino, Babe Ruth. Juan Soto. Now wearing the pinstripes. Got here Ozzy Albies. Mookie Betts having a very nice year in the top 10 in just about every major offensive category. Look for him to be in that MVP conversation once again. Ryan Mountcastle, who in his rookie season set the record for most home runs by an Orioles rookie player. And this year he has gotten off to a nice start. Uh, Jordan Alvarez, who's coming off of three straight 30 home run at 90 RBI seasons. Matt Olson, home run champ from last season. Uh, Jordan Diaz, Miggy. That is a sepia and a nice one at that. Um, never mind. I thought it was something else. But uh, yeah, Miggy, first ballot Hall of Famer, World Series winner, two-time MVP winner, and triple crown winner. One of the most lovable guys that ever played the game, Robbie Ray. Andrew McCutcheon, he too is an MVP winner. All-star, started his career with the Pirates, and that's where he's playing right now. But in between that, he played for the Yankees, Phillies, Brewers, Giants. Got uh, Julio Urias, Alex Bregman, Jeremy Pena. The Astros are having their problems, but... He is producing along with uh, Altuve. And uh, Johnny Bench, two-time MVP winner, World Series winner, a Hall of Famer, perennial all-star, 377 career home runs. Sean Murphy started his career with Oakland, went to Atlanta, and last year made his first all-star appearance. Bryce Harper, MB3, my Phillies' best record in baseball. Harper had a three-run blast yesterday. It's nice. Phillies are doing their things. You know, for the past couple of years, they would play sort of 500 ball and turn the Jets on in the second half. Uh, hopefully, it's not uh, a reverse of that this year, and they keep the momentum going before and after the All-Star break. Uh, Andrew Vaughn, Craig Biggio, part of that 3,000 hit club, Hall of Famer, spent his whole career in Houston. And Brandon Crawford. Joe Ryan, Twins, they were on a 12-game winning streak, but that ended yesterday. Nonetheless, they are still the hottest team uh, in the American League, one of the hottest teams in baseball, and they are two and a half games back of the Guardians. Lennon Sosa, Byron Buxton, also part of that uh, Twins team. First rows of velocity, Joey Votto, right now... Uh, 
As far as I know, he's a Blue Jay. I don't know if he's playing in their minor league system. From what I understand, he refused to play, so maybe he's just waiting his turn, or he might be just forced into retirement. Carlton Fisk hit a home run or two during his career, 376 to be exact, an 11-time All-Star, a Gold Glove winner, and a Hall of Famer. Final pack. Uh, we've got Ichiro. Next year will be his first year of eligibility on that Hall of Fame ballot. And there's no reason why he should not be a unanimous slam dunk first choice Hall of Famer. MVP winner, Gold Glove winner, All-Star. One of two players in Major League history to win MVP and Rookie of the Year in the same year. Matthew Liberator. This is Shea Langoliers. Matt Olson once again. It's flipped backwards. Is this a red parallel? I think so. And we finish off with another future Hall of Famer, Clayton Kershaw, MVP winner, Cy Young winner, World Series winner. And uh, that'll do it for the Stadium Club Rip. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and have yourselves a wonderful day.